Hello friends, I'm Parvez and this is our first video in Flask Web Application Development uh, for beginners. Basically in the first video we are going to introduce Flask Framework and also we are going to make our first web page in Flask. Okay, what is Flask? Flask is a small framework by most standards. Even we call it a micro framework. But when we are going to call Flask as a small framework, it does not mean that it does less than other frameworks. It is a popular framework, it is a, a more uh, a powerful framework. Along with Django, Flask is also a popular framework uh, for making dynamic web applications in Python language. There are some dependencies for Flask and uh, the main Flask dependencies are consist of the routing, debugging and web server gateway or WSGI. Uh, now, uh, uh, there is no native support in Flask for accessing databases uh, or validating web forms, authentic authenticating users or other high level tasks. Uh, when we are going to, for example, in Flask, when we are going to make a web application and we want to interact with database, for example, in for MySQL database, uh, there is no native support for in Flask for these kind of tasks. Uh, because uh, there are uh, libraries or packages that we can use it. For example, uh, when you are going to uh, use uh, from MySQL database, there is a library or package called MySQL, Flask MySQL that you can use that and you can interact for with MySQL databases. Or uh, you are going to use ORM. Uh, ORM. Uh, there are another library or package that we can use called Flask SQL Alchemy. So by this, uh, you can use them and interact uh, with your Flask application. Uh, and also, as a developer, you have the power to, uh, uh, for example, you use from those uh, library and packages, or you can uh, make uh, by yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, for installing Flask, uh, if you're using Windows, you can simply uh, open your terminal. Uh, make sure that you have a path ver variable for your uh, Python exe and also for your uh, uh, scripts folder. You can simply install pip and install flask. And if you're using another operating system, you can search in Google and you can find the tricks for installing and another uh, operating system. Okay, now we are going to start and make our first web page in flask. The first thing you need an ID. Uh, I'm using a PyCharm ID, ID. Let's get started and open PyCharm ID. Okay, friends, now I have opened my PyCharm ID. The first thing you need, you should import Flask, a Flask package or library. You can simply write uh, from, from Flask, uh, not from flask import flask like this okay uh, when you are going to make uh, an application or a web application in flask uh, all flask applications must create must create an application instance uh, like this okay you can simply create an instance of flask app uh, flask uh, underscore underscore name like this okay now let me uh, uh, describe this why we use this instance because uh, uh, the web server uh, passes all requests it receives from clients to this object to this app object uh, for handling uh, uh, using a protocol called uh, web server gateway interface or WSGI uh, the application instance, uh, this application instance is, instance is an object of class Flask that we have created. Uh, and this is created like this. Okay. Uh, usually in the constructor of uh, the only required argument to the Flask class constructor is uh, the name of the main module or package of the application. For most applications, we are going to use uh, Python's underscore underscore name variable. And it's a correct value. Uh, after this, uh, we have a concept of uh, uh, routes and view functions in Flask. Uh, for example, uh, clients such as web browsers, uh, when send requests to the web server, uh, which in turn uh, sends them uh, to the Flask application instance, uh, the application instance needs to know uh, what code 
the association uh, what code needs to run for each URL requested. So it keeps a mapping of URLs to Python functions. Uh, the most convenient way to define a route in a Flask application is uh, uh, through the app.route decorator. Uh, for example, uh, you can simply write uh, at app.route and this is the URL that you are going to define. For example, right now my URL is, uh, I just give uh, this and after this you are uh, going to uh, define your function decorator, uh, your functions. Uh, for example, it is optional, I am going to write index, you can give any name. And in here, you can you, you need to ret uh, return uh, 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 because uh, I'm going to just return in here uh, this is our first web application or web page in Flask using Python. Right now we are going to just uh, mm, populate this text in our uh, application and our page but when we uh, go further we will uh, make our template and we will render our template in here now at the end uh, you need to start your server uh, for this uh, let me write this uh, this is related to the python okay uh, for uh, running server in flask you can simply uh, write app dot run and also uh, for when you are going to develop uh, and when you are going to when you are in a development process uh, you should uh, make the debugging the true but when you uh, completed your application you can remove this okay uh, now this is our first flask uh, bare boon uh, now I'm going to run this uh, you can run this uh, uh, and PyCharm uh, in two ways I will show you. The first way you can simply write and run this. Now you can see uh, our web pages running on our local host and port 5000. So you can simply uh, click on this or you can write this in your browser. I'm going to click this. Yeah, now you can see this is our first web page in Flask using Python and you can see that it is port 5000 and our local uh, host. Uh, the second way that you can run this, let me close this, terminate. Now if I refresh this, you can see I don't have any application, the, science, the site can be reached. The second way you can open the terminal in your pie chart, uh, like this. Let me close the session and make a new session like this simply cd change the directory to flask beginners and after this you can simply write uh, let me make it like this you can simply write uh, python python and your uh, name is flask first web page dot pi okay flask first web page dot pi and hit enter now it's restarting now running on uh, this 5000 port and this local host now if i run this you can see now this is our first web page in flask uh, if you want to terminate this you can simply uh, from your keyboard you can uh, control C now if I run this now the application is terminated uh, okay thank you guys uh, this was our first lesson in flask if you have any question please let me know uh, for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel